I mean, we're, our economy is run by criminals. Our, go- our government's run by criminals. The criminals own the government. The criminals own the banks. Federal Reserve to lend additional $1 trillion a day to large banks. So they're using your money to prop up the people who are screwing you. The government, which is owned by the banks, takes your money, gives it back to the banks, and then says, screw them. Boy, one trillion a day to large banks, but you better pray you get unemployment extended. So now you know, uh, this is what's going on in America, and the Democratic Party is 100% behind it. Okay? They're owned by the banks. They're owned by Wall Street. So when you vote for someone in the Democratic Party, like, say, uh, someone in the Justice Democrats or the squad, and you think you're voting for a progressive, you're voting for Goldman Sachs. You're voting for Wells Fargo because the squad votes with Nancy Pelosi, and Nancy Pelosi is beholden to those same people. And so you think you're voting for a progressive, but you see how they vote. You see the Justice Democrats, Nancy Pelosi, they go along with Nancy Pelosi 100%. They said Joe Biden gets an A. So it's bad to vote for them because when you vote for AOC, Jamal Bowman, Justice Democrats, the squad, you are voting for Wells Fargo Bank to keep doing this. You're voting for an expansion of the military industrial complex. You're voting for bombing in Syria because they're not opposing him on anything. They're going along with all of it. So you thought you were voting against that stuff, but you really were voting for it. So stop voting for Justice Democrats and stop donating to them. And until people like Cenk Uger and Kyle Kalinske tell you to stop donating to the Justice Democrats, they're part of the problem. (laughs) 